Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Ashish Devi, friends, and welcome you back to my video. So in this video, friends, I will be discussing this Purana Rock system with you. Actually, this Purana Rock system is a part of Archean Rock system only. I have already told you that Archean Rock system was divided into Archean Gneisses and Schist. Then the Dharwad system, and there was one more division that is the Purana Rock system. And these Archean rocks are also known as Purana rocks. But I am covering this Purana rock system separately. So the further classification of this Purana rock system consists of Kudappa rocks. Vendian rocks. So this is presented by me, Harsh Devi, friends. If you want to follow me, the link of my Instagram profile is given in the description box below. Also, this video is in English, friends. If you want to watch the Hindi version of the video, the link of that is also given in the description box below. So these are the basically the orientation of Archean rocks, the Dharwad rocks. The complete orientation of orientation of Dharwad rocks is not here. That I already showed you in my Archean Gneisses and Schist and the Dharwad video, the Precambrian rocks video. So kindly go and watch it. The link is given in the description box below. Also, before watching this video, I would suggest you to watch the geological time scale video. That is, whose link is also given in the description box below. Then please also watch the classification of rock system video and uh, further, you know, the video of the Carboniferous system, that is the Rubidian rock system, and the video of Iron rock system, which consists of Gondwana like rock system, Tertiary rock system, Cretaceous Deccan trap, and Quaternary. All of these things I have uploaded, and the link is given in the description box below. So please go and watch these videos. When you are going to watch all of these videos in association with each other, this thing will become very very clear to you. So finally, in this video, we are going to talk about the talk about this Kudappan and Vindhyan system. Okay, so we will see the distribution of rocks here. So you can see, friends, this is you can see a sort of geological orientation. So the uplifted part is the anticline, and the down word part is syncline so this downward part has some part here in which some amount of elements can be deposited okay so basically these could appar system rocks they found in these type of synclines so the word purana this denotes the proterozoic period so this proterozoic period if you want to know about it i'm sorry for my pronunciation so it is covered in the geological time scale video friends the geological time scale video link is given in the description box below and this Purana rock system is further divided into Vindhyan system and Kudappa system. So first we are going to talk about the Kudappa system. So basically the name Kudappa is there because then these rocks were very fine and for the first time found in the Kudappa district of Andhra Pradesh. Okay. So what happened friends that we know, you know, initially Archean rocks formed. So then by the weathering of those Archean rocks, then sedimentary rocks formed and then those metamorphosed form of those sedimentary rocks became the Dharavar system. Now slowly, 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 slowly after the Dharwad system came the Kodappa system, friends. So first was Archean, then was Dharwad, and then came the Kodappa system. Okay, so how this Kodappa rock system formed? A great thickness of unfossiliferous, that is without fossils, clay, slate, quartzite, sandstones, limestone, they used to get deposited in this synclinal basins. Okay, and slowly, slowly they converted themselves into rocks, which are today named by Kodappa system of rocks. Okay, now the outcrops are very very famous in this Kudappa system of rocks. What is outcrop threats? You will see that a system of rocks, it seems that it is coming out of the earth, but actually that is sedimentary rocks which has formed itself, you know, by years of sedimentation process, millions of years of sedimentation process, friends. Okay, and uh, these uh, outcrops are found in scattered accretions all over the country. You will see the exact location of them. So basically, this Kudappa rock system is separated from the Dharwad rock system because Kodappa rock system came after Dharwad rock system. So both of these rock systems are being separated by an unconformity. Now what is exactly this unconformity? Unconformity represents that time period, friends, of which we have no rock system. For example, this unconformity is the contact between sedimentary rocks, that is two sedimentary rocks, or contact between sedimentary rocks and on the other side older eroded igneous and metamorphic rocks this means that unconformity represent gaps that is if continuous rock system in between have a big separation so obviously that becomes like unconformity because that denotes that geological periods of which we have no rocks today okay so these unconformity represents gaps in the geological record periods of time that are not represented by any rock so these are those periods of time about which we know any we don't know anything so these are those periods for which are not represented by any rock okay so there was a big unconformity between dharwad and the kudappa system now let us see where these kudappa rocks are formed so they are formed in some parts of southern india 
the kudappa system sometimes becomes 6100 meters thick it has several unconformities and the most extensive occurrence of this rock system is found in the kudappa district of andhra pradesh after that it is found in the kurnool district of andhra pradesh okay friends so kudappa and kurnool district of andhra pradesh this is andhra pradesh and here you find these rocks so here comes the kudappa and kurnool districts also where else these rocks are found so we are they are found in southern parts of chatisgarh which are coming in the districts of dantewada bastar kanker dhamtari raipur durg rajnandgaon these dantewada and bastar are very famous for mayost activities so here you can see this is the map of chatisgarh friends and in the southern parts of chatisgarh these districts would be coming and there these kudappa rocks would be formed okay then slight occurrences of these rocks are also there in singhbhum in jharkhand so where is singhbhum in jharkhand here so this is somewhere here friends this black spot here i am really sorry for my figure this black spot kindly have a notice at this okay then friends after that they are also found in uh, kalahandi in kyonjha district of odisha so this is the map of odisha friends okay so they are also found in kalahandi and kyonjha district and they are also found along the main axis of the aravalli range so there comes the aravalli and along this axis these kudappa system rocks are also found okay and more, um, some deposits of them are also found in karnataka so where in karnataka this is karnataka and you can see these deposits there very extensive system is found the most extensive system is found in kudappa district followed by kurnool district of andhra pradesh which is represented here okay moving forward now what is the economic significance of this kudappa system rocks there lies ores of iron manganese copper cobalt nickel barites jasper asbestos steatites and chertz friends okay they also contain large deposits of building purpose quartzites and cement grain limestones so obviously because of the presence of these elements these rocks become very very important but they don't have fossils in them then after them in age comes the vindhyan rock system okay so this system consists of ancient sedimentary rocks superimposed on the archean base so obviously weathering process was going on by the agents of denudation friends so because the weathering process was continuing so by, uh, these uh, old rocks like archean the dharwad these vindhyan uh, these kudappa rocks they were getting weathered and sedimentary rocks were forming so these the new sedimentary rocks were forming on the old base so basically they were forming on the archean base so these system vindhyan rock system are actually ancient sedimentary rocks which are superimposed on the archean sedimentary rocks so basically they are stratified formations sometimes their thickness are very high they become 4000 meters thick they are spread over an area of around 1 lakh square kilometers friends and they spread over a huge area they stretch from sasaram and rohtas in western bihar so here you can see this is western bihar so from sasaram and rohtas in western bihar it goes to chittorgarh in rajasthan so here comes chittorgarh in rajasthan friends okay so these rocks this vindhyan system is continuous in this area you can see how there is a small unconformity in between in the bundelkhand region but in this area these rocks are continuous okay now friends also you can see here friends these rocks are also found in some scattered formation that is it is found here in chatisgarh then in karnataka also friends then in this andhra pradesh also so in these areas these rocks are also found moving forward this is the same that uh, they also cover a area which is covered by duck and trap okay they are also found in chatisgarh as i told you they are also found in karnataka and kurnool district of andhra pradesh so you can see here chatisgarh this is rocks this comes in karnataka and this comes in andhra pradesh okay moving forward a few traces of animals and vegetable life are found in these uh, vindhyan ranges friend so as Uh, this archean the harwad and the kudappa ranges they didn't have any fossils but yes vindhyan ranges have very small amount of fossils not too much okay and this vindhyan system also continue to the north under the gangetic alluvium that is it is said that vindhyan rocks are formed beneath the alluvial soil of the northern plains and it is said that many of these rocks also buckled down beneath the himalayas because himalayas is consistently moving upward okay now this vindhyan system is also divided into two sets the lower vindhyan which lies from 1300 to 1100 million years ago and second is the upper vindhyan which lies from 1000 to 600 million years ago now if you go and see the characteristics of the lower vindhyan which is the older one so this is marine in origin that is some sort of sea involvement is there in it and it is mostly calcareous in nature calcareous means presence of calcium carbonate cacio3 
so csc you see present uh, is present there marine uh, is the origin of this lower vindian rock the older one and uh, they show tectonic deformation the second one which comes in the upper vindian ranges friends so this is around this is newer than the lower vindian so it is from 1000 to 600 million years ago friends and this is fluvial in origin fluvial means uh, uh, you know having association with the river so basically anything which is associated with the river river erosion and things like that so it becomes fluvial so these upper vindian rocks 1000 to 600 million years ago they are fluvial in origin okay see these lower and upper vindians are also separated by an unconformity but that unconformity is very much clear in the northern region but not very much clear in the southern region so this upper vindian rocks also contains diamond bearing mines in them also this vindian system is devoid of metalliferous minerals that is metals which have uh, iron components in them so that is not present in this vindian system but very excellent flag stones free stones coal pure glass sand limestone and ornamental stones are found in these vindian system rock vindian rock systems and vindian ranges so i hope this video was helpful for you friends if this video was really helpful for you kindly like my channel please tell me through your comments that you really like this channel and uh, subscribe to my video and please share this video more and more with your friends so thank you for watching the hindi vision the hindi version of this video is already uploaded on the channel